If you would like to get this month's crystal reading for your sign for download and purchase, please click on the Vimeo link below this video in the show more section or visit my website, theluckymermaid.com and the links for these videos are posted on the most recent video page. Please be sure to check out my other psychic readings for each zodiac sign I have available there as well. Thank you so much. Wish you many blessings and peace. Hi Sagittarius, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for July 2017. This month I laid out the five card rainbow tarot spread for you using the Hanson Roberts tarot deck. And remember, these are general readings and to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Sagittarius Sun. Sagittarius Ascendant, and Sagittarius Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign to gain more insight and information because some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. All that being said, Sagittarius, now on to your reading for July 2017. The first card you have in your reading today is the King of Cups. And the King of Cups is a water sign male, either being a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, Sun sign, Rising sign, or Moon sign. Or it could just be somebody that has strong personality traits of the King of Cups. Could also be a female. I hear hindsight is 2020. You, I feel like you're confused a little bit about this King of Cups and you don't really know what to do with him. Either they're giving you the push-pull or you're doing it. Like, you know, want to see you and talk to you and be around you and then they don't. Now, and back and forth, that back and forth kind of motion. But this does, you know, first it, it could be love, but... This could also be somebody else in your life that's the King of Cups that's giving you like that push-pull, jerky back and forth motion. They may be kind of like a wisecracker. <laughs> they may have a lot of like kind of wise-ass things that they like to say um, because I do get like a wisecracker. So that may give you a tip off as to who this is if you're confused about them, that they may be a bit on the you know, sarcastic side. Either you feel like they're doing things to you that you don't like and you feel that their behavior is destructive for you, or they're doing things that you don't like that's destructive behavior for their life. One or the other, I get you feeling like there's some kind of destructive behavior and it, it's going either direction and you're concerned or not feeling like you're really happy about it. They may feel like you're trying that they're trying to tell you something important and you're not listening to them. Maybe they're trying to tell you something about their life or things that have gone on for them or some advice they're trying to give you. It, whatever it is, they're telling you things and you f and the King of Cups feels like you aren't listening to them. He, This King of Cups may be really eager to please you and show you something um, in the month of July. I'm not sure how you feel about it, though. I feel like you are listening, but I get this feeling like you feel that this King of Cups is going over the top in some way. Maybe you don't approve of how they're spending their money or how they're living their life or their emotional reactions to things are too extreme or, you know, maybe they're involved in drugs or alcohol. Whatever they're doing, I do feel that they, they want to talk to you in July and I do feel you are actually listening even though they may feel like you don't or you're not. But I do get this feeling like you feel that there's something they're either saying or doing that's over the top. So now I'm going to look into your next card. And this is the Hanged Man. 
And here, this means being in limbo. You're not moving forward, you're not moving backward, you're in a state of suspended animation, and you have to draw strongly from your own psychic ability when you're in this limbo state. You may feel like you're having a little bit of a difficulty with your emotional reality, and that your emotion, re, emotional reality is like up and down, or so on some kind of an emotional swing in July. Could even be happened in June, could even progress into August, but I just get this um, emotional swing that you're on. I do see some of you Sagittarians really feeling like you want to take some giant steps forward, but for some reason you're feeling like you can't. You may feel like something you had to purchase broke your bank account or your bank account could be feeling the squeeze also. I'm not saying you're not doing well financially, but maybe you took a big trip or maybe you had to make a big purchase. Um, or maybe your hours, if you work hourly, maybe your hours got cut back at your job. I don't know, but I do feel some of you Sagittarians are feeling the uh, financial squeeze. I feel that many of you Sagittarians are trying to get something going, but there's a delay or you feel like you're being blocked or you just can't get it started yet. It's like it, it could be a delay of your own doing. This could also be a delay of interference from other people, or it could just be, you know, planetary movements, natural course of delay in your particular chart uh, for July. I do feel there's a new romance that is going to be budding for Sagittarians, many of you single Sagittarians, over the course of the next nine months to a year. Could even be happening soon. But uh, I see 791. So I feel that that means it's either going to be in seven months from now, nine months from now, or one year from now, or it could even be in the month of July because it is coming up in this reading. I feel that Sagittarians also need to forget about how they did things in the past. Whatever method you did before, it's like you have to throw it out or forget it and they adopt some new methods, like throw out the old ways, get on with the new ways, and this could be the way you do your work, the way you keep your house, the way you run your life, the way your uh, relationships are with certain individuals or with people on a whole or your diet, whatever is like an old way of doing things. To me, it feels more like, in these, these are the two realms that come up to me the most. Protocols or certain methods you do in your work, business, or job, or creative endeavors. Secondly, the second thing that comes up is if you, um, how you feel about personal relationships and how you, ha how you deal with people or certain people interactively. Those are the two ways I feel like they meant. Now, crowning your reading, you have the uh, Magician, which is a very good card. This is the card of the Manifester. So what you think about, you bring about, and what you what's in the spiritual plane, you can manifest into the physical reality, and you have all the tools in front of you with which to do it. I feel like you're uh, rolling on with a new endeavor. And again, I hear hindsight's 2020, but I get you're rolling on with a new endeavor and it's going to start to build. Some of you, this could be building a business or building a sideline or hobby uh, that's turning going to turn into, you know, a, a full time business for you. But it's something that you're going to start generating and get going. You know, don't ever underestimate your abilities, Sagittarius. Not that I think you do, uh, because I know Sagittarians are pretty savvy. They know they're they know what they're good at, and uh, they're very intelligent and bright, and can really uh, do some really amazing, sparkling and shining things. Uh, because I see you, something you're going to do is going to be almost like prize winning or award worthy. Uh, now, maybe they don't actually give awards for what you're going to be doing. Maybe that sounds like a silly willy nilly thing to say. Uh, but I do feel like 
whatever it is you're cooking, coming up with, working on, getting ready to do, launch, new ways of working, new endeavors, new projects or plans. It's like, it's going to stop people dead in their tracks. You may get written up in the newspaper in or on something on the internet or uh, like something is going to be noteworthy about what you're doing and people will be talking about it and recognizing it. That's coming up for you. If it doesn't happen in July, just expect it any time between July and the end of September. That's the way it feels to me. You know, I do feel that many of you are going to feel like, who's the boss? I'm the boss. Uh, I'm going to show people what I can do. Like, I feel some of you Sagittarians are going to feel like, you know, uh, people underestimate me or people think I'm a pushover or people maybe don't think I have all, it all together. And I feel this energy coming from some of you Sagittarians who have had particular people either be disrespectful to you, talk down to you, like disregard you, put you off to the side. If you're a Sagittarius that has had those experience happening, I feel you're going to be like, oh yeah, well, now look what I'm doing. And that you're going to get recognition, rewards, awards, applause, people patting you on the back and saying you did a good job. And it's kind of like you're going to show them, the disbelievers, the non-believers, the critics, your critics, that's the word. Wow, I took a long time to <laughs> come up with that. Um and I feel there's double blessings here because I feel some of the things that you're going to do are going to be generating and giving, uh, generating money and giving a boost to your finances and to your self-esteem and your ego and, and all of that. Next card you have is Seven of Cups. This is scattered energy, scattered thinking, confusion, being confused and making a decision. Uh, it could also be choose wisely from the illusions that are around you. I get like complications of matters, complications. So like red tape, does this test have to be taken? Does this paperwork need to be filled out? Does this need a license? Does this need a permit? Does this need some kind of approval or signature from somebody that's not that easy to get a hold of or to get to sign stuff? It's, it's that kind of thing. I actually feel like some of the things you're progressing and moving forward on that are going to be quite noteworthy and give you applause and recognition and showing those critics all up and like that they were wrong about you. There is some red tape you have to cut through that feels like, I'm going to say it feels like bureaucracy or politics or political bureaucracy or just like paperwork and, um, and I get like this feeling of like making you feel like, what do I do next? Or what do I have to do next? It's that kind of feeling like, what do I do next? Or what's the next step I need to do? Because I feel like you do one thing and then it makes you feel like you have to do another thing. And then, oh my God, I can't believe I've got to go back and do that thing over again. And now I have to submit this paper over here and now I have to take it over there. Like that kind of, um, I don't know if bureaucracy is the right, right word, but bureaucracy, the runaround, doesn't mean this stuff doesn't get going. It's just like all the bits and pieces of crap that you have to deal with to get to the end result of what you want to do. Also, I feel that some of the information you're receiving in July is confusing. So you may be getting in pieces of information over here that don't jive with pieces of information over there. So they may seem conflicting or just like it's too much information or the way things are worded and put, how it's written. It's not simple. It's confusing jargon. So uh, that is the feeling also here with the Seven of Cups for you in July. And keep in mind, you're not all born on the same month, day, year, time, city of birth, um, year. So timing for you Sagittarius, Sagittarians are going to be different. Uh, this may be happening for some of you in June. That's already passed. Some of you, it could be July. Some of you, it could be in the month of August or September. It is coming up in the July reading. It's letting you know this is going to happen, but 
uh, you know, some people say this is accurate for me at the beginning of a month, which is awesome. I'm happy when it makes sense to people right away. But really, you really don't know how accurate it is until you get to the end of August, because then you can go back or at least some point in August and you could say, you know what, that July, that was right. That did happen. So it's not always going to resonate with you at the beginning of the month and also uh, the timing could be off for many of you as to when these events are going to occur. Stabilizing your income and your money and your forces is definitely a must or high priority on many of these Sag's minds. Here you have the Two of Cups as your outcome card of the five cards for July. And this is two people that are have a soul connection with each other. And it's like fate destiny meant to be divinely ordained predestined um, and it's a soul connection could be a soulmate could be a twin flame uh, this could also doesn't always have to be love you can have these kind of relations with children or parents or close family ties or friends but usually this comes up with as love seek and ye shall find i hear the doorways getting ready to open up for you sagittarians and i do feel it is about relationships or love you're going to start putting your there this is what they're saying you're going to start putting your money where your at mouth is and getting out of a dysfunctional relationship so you have to think on that not sure why they so putting your money where your mouth is to me is like you have to stand behind what you're saying and if you're in some kind of dysfunctional relationship I don't care whether it's love a family one a friend any you know anything like that you're going to get out of some kind of dysfunctional relationship all of you may not do it in July but I feel it's coming whether you do it then or not I see you seeking out new attachments and even if you're not seeking out a new attachment, a new one is going to pop up. So again, it does come up to me like somebody new comes into your life. You may be feeling irritated with somebody that's been telling you things or saying things to you that annoy you or are, as my guides say, grating on your nerves. So somebody has been saying things that rub you the wrong way or are grating on your nerves and you may bar them from talking to you about such things that grate on your nerves you could break it off with them or disassociate with them or tell them you know what please don't say that to me anymore because you're getting on my nerves <laughs> come on Sagittarians you're not shy let them have it I know I've known some Sagittarians and some Sagittarians rising that are pretty blunt and to the point actually I'd have to say out of all the signs I've encountered with people in my life I think Sagittarians have and Aries uh, have been the two most blunt signs I've known uh, I'm sure there's a few others but they're the two Sag has come to mind strongly on that you may be feel like you've been wronged in some way willfully wronged and you don't want to have it happen anymore now this I feel like there's somebody that you deal with that almost makes you feel like you can't stand being in your own skin which is a weird phrase but I get this whole vibe like there's somebody that is either disapproving of you overly critical of you or they say things that you don't subscribe to or believe and it grates on your nerves let me give you this example let's say you are a really spiritual person maybe you tend towards Buddhism or I don't know some other religion it doesn't have to be that but you know or just really intense spirituality and you don't subscribe to a religion and you have a born-again Christian I don't know uh, best friend or relative that's constantly saying things to you you don't subscribe to or criticizing your spirituality now that's one example it could be anything else like somebody criticizes uh, like they believe there's only certain protocols and ways to do this particular thing and you do it in your own different way and 
they're negative about what you're saying or what you're doing, I feel you're going to stick up for yourself, stand up to them, put a block and a stop to it. If it's a love relationship or a love partnership, there is a new one that's going to be coming in. I don't feel uh, if you're a dissatisfied Sagittarius. So I'm not talking about you happily coupled Sagittarians. This is about you Sagittarians that have been put off by people, someone you're with, or annoyed by them, or that applies to you, those Sagittarians, not you happily coupled Sagittarians. This card could also be here to show uh, you being in a happy love relationship, but for many of you, I feel one door is going to shut and another door is going to open So, uh, with love. So you just have to see how this general reading makes sense for you, Sagittarius. So I want to thank you so much for watching, sharing, and liking my videos. Thank you for subscribing and for Google Plusing. I do truly appreciate that. And please remember to subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. So I really also would like to say, if you would like to get a continuation, it's kind of like a continuation, but it's really additional messages where I look into my crystal and get psychic messages from my spirit guides for you, Sagittarius. For July, you can access these videos for download and purchase by clicking on the link below this video in the show more section and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for July 2017 Psychic Crystal readings for download and purchase. You can also go to my website and get any of these videos by clicking on the videos tab on my menu, going to, it's a drop down menu, go to page 10 or 11 for the latest videos and you look under the heading for Psychic Crystal reading for July 2017 find your sign, click on that, and it will take you to those video, that video on Vimeo. I wish you a joyous July, Sagittarius, and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.